we have this MacBook here that has been opened and I believe there was a battery replacement for this one uh, the client tried to do a battery replacement and yeah and now it gets this signal there is no trackpad connection and um, that's why it's looking for a mouse the cursor is in the top left corner if you can barely see it but it's there and we're gonna go ahead and be taking a look this is the a1708 2017 macbook pro 13 inch and we're gonna go see let me just turn this off so that's better so why is it making that noise it's making that noise because it does realize that there is a connection not present there well, i can see at least the connections are connected so the customer came in they actually did battery replacement and then they get that icon there um, and they're worried about maybe there's a sensor issue or there's something else going on with that but from but by looking at it, at least it's turning on that's a good thing and um, the battery seems to be connected. Uh, it's most likely it's not going to be a genuine battery. To know off the top of our head though, we do know that if something usually isn't connected. That does have that fan spin. It gets really, really loud if it's like a trackpad or keyboard that isn't connected. Uh, that's usually the case there. That means at least it's um, it's being recognized as that it's disconnected. So maybe there's some end that's actually just disconnected. And we're hoping that's just what it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we got. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, we do see that the bottom covers are already opened and there's a little bit of screws. Let's see, we do have a few things here. So the the bottom has been already opened. Uh, you can see the main, this uh, battery connection cable has been removed. And also there is this little piece of cover that does cover up the battery here has been removed as well. Um, so it, we know it's turning on and that, that's at least a really good sign. So that's the, the number one thing is if it wasn't turning on after you did battery replacement, that's a pretty bad sign. Um, this model, since it is turning on at least and this part really isn't connected, there is a problem at least. We do know that this can at least turn on without a battery connection. So we do know this does work without a battery. So we're not too concerned really about at least the battery being a problem. Uh, we're being we're more concerned about a uh, connection problem most likely that there is a problem with uh, the trackpad or the trackpad cable. You can see there's a little bit even of a bend. You can see there's lots of marks around it. And um, we do see that this cable is loose, which we don't really care too much because at least it's turning on. And we can check the charging after we get that um, after we get at least the, the trackpad working, we can do something like that. But um, we want to just check here um, and really see if there's anything obviously visual. I do see that these screws, uh, these are part of the trackpad uh, screws. The trackpad actually goes underneath here. And then there's screws that go here that's attached to it. So there's one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was like 10 screws actually go along the bottom here. Now the problem with these type of models, uh, you, if you see, and why we like to normally do them, is that these are actually adhesed to the the frame of it itself there's no screws or there's no um, easy way just to pull it off they are adhesed and usually it's a very easy that you can go actually under here and damage it so we do see that there's three big cells here and this big cell in the middle does have where the trackpad is it's right under there and i can see that the customer most likely tried to remove it because there are screw holes uh, you can see the little white that goes in the bottom there that means they're a little bit stripped it means they don't have a perfect size um, screwdriver that's going to fit and you, and it does look like that this has been at least attempted there we can also see up here uh, you get kind of the same thing around the trackpad area here and you can see those screws have been um, uplifted too maybe you can just need to push this down to work um, maybe there's a problem with the actual trackpad itself maybe that connection isn't there i do know on the other side of this trackpad that there is a connection that goes underneath and it is adhesed at least um, close to where you connect it in so we're just going to focus on that because I don't really see anything super obvious here outside of at least what we're talking about. Um, we want to make sure that um, this is the data line that goes for the battery. So if you unplug it, it the, so if you unplug it, it will turn off. And also this is where you're going to get an actual charge. And this is where you get your positive and negative connection here. And I think it even says it here, does it? Yes, it does say there's positive and negative. When you So we want to make sure we undo that because this is how the laptop is going to be charged if we plug it in and uh, we don't want any electricity going as we're opening it up so let's go undo the the screws here and at least they're not too stripped so at least we can easily remove it here and let's go ahead and pop this open see right here if there's anything obvious and it feels okay so it does feel like that it was completely in so this isn't our problem and our most likely our other problem is our problem is going to be actually underneath here so let's take out all these screws and go here and we'll see if that's going to be just the only issue there. Maybe there's a, we're looking probably for either damage or not components, or we're looking for 
Uh, they're just the, the easiest one, which would be just the connection is just a little bit loose, and it's going to make that fan uh, really go nuts if that isn't connected. Um, they do this in a lot of other models too. If you don't have like I/O board connections, audio connections, or certain ones that are really important, um, they will the fan will just get really really loud, and it will still go. Uh, it can go really really slow too, and but it will boot and it will work. But so you'll notice it's almost not in a usable state when it gets to that point. So that's obviously why they're here. And they want to make sure that there's nothing else wrong. And it doesn't make us scare because you're thinking, like the customer thinks, is that there's a possible sensor issue. Which I don't believe is the case, but let's go ahead and see. So I lifted this up. And anything obvious right here, let's get the screen out the way. So this is why um, right here is the reason why most likely that there is a problem to the actual uh, trackpad itself. This is adhesive right here and it does go on the bottom here and this is where the trackpad is obviously. So well, if you ever try to do the replacement or try to remove this you definitely want to make sure that you remove the trackpad to avoid any extra damage. Um, we're not sure if they removed it before or after but this is definitely a good good cause for concern because this is open. Now we want to go ahead and take a look at this because this is most likely what our problem is. We want to see if there's anything super obvious um, one thing, even though this doesn't look like it's completely in, but uh, there could be some type of uh, damage to it or something. We see that there's two plates here that were supposed to be there. You see that? How there's plates underneath? It's not um, it's not totally necessary to, to have it in because, uh, I don't know, I could probably look around here. I might be able to find some, but it does make it hold in place a little bit more. Uh, now, we want to look and see if there's any easy damage and sometimes you might see liquid or something because there this is probably how is it removed right the removal process of the battery you probably need some type of liquid maybe to go on top of it I don't see anything extremely obvious there but this kind of peeled a little bit but I don't know if that really matters so let's go ahead and just undo this and see undo the little latch here let's take out this connection and there's a small adhesion here and it just comes up uh, we want to see if there's any damage to the actual connection itself so we can go under the microscope and actually see and maybe see if there's any small tears in the cable or maybe the cable just needs to be put in um, but let's go ahead and just go look under the microscope so we're going to check the components and we're also going to take the connection check the connection first because that's usually the most important thing And we see that this is a little bit um, off here. I think this is just, it's not too big of a deal, but it just shows that there might have been maybe like a small struggle here. Not sure if there was a short, a burn, or just a, it's a little bit of a physical scratch that goes on top. That's kind of what it looks like. But there's nothing inside of there. But we don't know what really happened during the, the removal process, right? See, this is a bit rusty here, so maybe there was some type of liquid. Um, and you look even around this area, so most likely there was probably being liquid probably put on this area here for it to be uh, damaged. Uh, let's look at the cable just real quick, and we'll see if there's really anything else. So let's take a look at both sides of the cable. Cable looks healthy there. See if there's any cuts. I see, oh, actually, I do see a tear here. There's a tear on the cable. You see that? This is your problem. So it looks like there was a, a tear in this cable. There was a struggle here. And you can see this even was a bend. This could damage it too enough where it's not going to recognize it. But probably when you're removing it, this is probably, you will, oops, that's it. And so that's most likely what it, what it is there. Okay, so what we can do is we can swap out this trackpad, and obviously we're going to need another cable. And I bet if we just get, honestly, I really think if we just get another cable, it should be okay. But we might as well just go the extra mile and um, just replace the whole entire trackpad with the cable, because we do have them at our store. You want to go ahead and check it out. And I did find some of the metal pieces like this one, just to help hold it in a little bit better. Oh man, go the opposite direction. This, actually, the right here, so <laughs> I think this is meant for this repair to happen. So I think we should be able to get a successful repair. Uh, let's put these in, and let's go switch back to our other camera, and we will finish it up, or at least test it, 
just to make sure it looks fine and everything's going to be a-okay. Now, I'm going to connect the battery too because that fan is going to make a loud noise again and we don't want to wake the neighbors up around here. <laughs> and it should boot a lot faster. It won't take forever. It won't be like really slow and there, there shouldn't be any loud extreme fan noise like that. Once this gets plugged in. All right, I'm not gonna put it fully back. Let's make sure we just connect everything. And I believe this is just gonna work. So let's go ahead. And it's easy to tell too, because it doesn't just have no Apple logo here. And you can see there's some, and there's also a non Apple brand mark there. So I'm gonna make sure we have a flat track by which we do. I can actually feel it turn on now because I think it turned on. Oh yeah, it turns on with that battery and charger and everything, right? <laughs> so when that happens too, you also see that the keyboard won't work, but we are getting a keyboard. You see the caps light coming on? That's a good thing. There's our Apple logo. There's no fast spin. The fan is spinning, but it's not ridiculously loud. And this should load pretty fast, I'm gonna hope. All right, so at least um, this is a good thing. So it's not going right to the main menu. Um, sometimes when you put this on, obviously there's gonna be a problem. Um, because maybe it's been turned off incorrectly or forced shutting it off. So let's go ahead and charge it. Make sure we're getting our voltage and ampage here. Now, um, but this looks, looks like at least it's on and we have a trackpad movement. Oh, I don't know why it zoomed out. So we have a trackpad movement and I wanna check the keyboard too because these usually go hand in hand. So let's see if I can even get around. Okay, so I'm gonna just check the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, the keyboard's working, the trackpad's working. There's no loud fan noise and we are getting a charge at the top there. I don't really see a charging icon, but we are getting our can you zoom, I can zoom in more? Nope. So we are getting our 19.5, 20 volts, whatever you want to call it, and then 2.72 amps, which is good. It's a nice current that we're actually getting. It means the battery is charging, and we're we're getting it. We, we so far already charged 22 milliamps. Now we're at 24. Now we're at 25. So the, the charger is charging the battery, and it looks like at least he is getting charging. You can, there is also a lightning bolt signal at the top there, even though it hasn't changed yet. But let's go ahead to the main OS, I think. Um, let me log in and just make sure we test it, but everything looks to be fine. Um, I do want to make sure I run it overnight. I definitely want to make sure that we test this fully, obviously. Um, I'll go into the OS itself and then make sure these are charging. And there's 6%. So it was at five, now it's at six. So that's a good sign. And everything looks to be pretty good. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Found this video very informative. And here's our little culprit here again. This is, you can see this a lot better here. You can see there's a tear that occurred most likely when this has been removed the only way you can get to this part is if you actually took up the trackpad and removed it because uh, this is where it bends and this is where it goes over so it's a perfect match and uh, because it's glued in adhesive there um, you can easily see it here you can see the little white that's on the back side here that's a little bit of uh, adhesion that does go on the back and probably when you're trying to tug it or if you're not sure that it's even there because it's a little trap and when you try to pull it out, it's very easy to pull out, and then you get a little micro tear. Uh, this is a pretty big tear, so it's pretty obvious. As at least we were able to see that pretty easily, and it's easy to show you guys. But it's very easy to do that because there was a little bit of adhesion trap that does go um, there, right where the connection is. And if you pull it and you're not aware of it, it's easy to tear it like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Found this video very informative. Very fortunate for the customer that this was more of an easy repair. And there wasn't really any type of power issues going on because sometimes, especially if you have any type of battery connection, if you um, try to do stuff while the battery's connected or if you touch the wrong components or you just rip something else that's a little bit more difficult, like more of the battery connection, then maybe you have to get another battery or you maybe have to go down another rabbit hole. That's not really fun. If you're getting power and you do see that fan spin on and it gets really, really slow, um, usually that means something isn't connected properly. Um, and that's just how we kind of knew. That's why this was easy just to find and diagnose this pretty easily. So uh, I know it's a quick video. It's not a super extensive board repair, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching anyway. If you did, please leave a like. Really, this helps us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We post uh, a lot of MacBook uh, repairs, also software talks and liquid spills, hard drive repairs, and whatever else we really see fit because we're a shop. Um, if you're interested, we do have all of our links and contact in, in the description below, and we'll see you in the guys next one. Bye.